And this just in out of the NFL where the 49ers are expected to name Sam Darnold as the backup QB to Brock Purdy. That's according to the NFL Network. That means that Trey Lance, the former number three overall pick, will be relegated to third string QB. Now he only started in two games last year for San Francisco before suffering a season ending ankle injury. Lance was reportedly not spotted at the start of practice today as the rest of the 49ers took to the field. San Francisco opens up their 2023 campaign on Sunday, September 10th in Pittsburgh. Getting a look at Trey Lance's profile, again, the number three overall pick in 2021. Four starts, 102 pass attempts in two career seasons. Again, suffering that ankle injury very early on, week two in the 2022 season. Here's our lead NFL insider, Jonathan Jones, on what's potentially next for Trey Lance. It has very much been trending in the direction that Sam Darnold would be the backup quarterback, QB2, for the San Francisco 49ers. His two-minute drive in the last preseason game uh, pretty much cemented it, and I believe it has been known within that building that they were going to go with Darnold, still awaiting official word from the 49ers on that. So what does it mean for the third quarterback? Because remember, they were in the NFC title game without a quarterback. I still believe the Niners are going to carry three quarterbacks this season. Who's that third one going to be? Is it going to be Trey Lance or is it going to be Brandon Allen? On the day that I was out at camp, early in camp, and it was just one day, Brandon Allen looked far better than Trey Lance. I would not be surprised if the Niners valued what Brandon Allen brings to the team over Trey Lance, but they're not going to cut Lance. They're not going to put him on the practice squad. So what do you do with him? Well, the only other option really is to trade him. And who would want to trade for Trey Lance? As I've surveyed NFL teams the last couple of weeks, and again, moments before coming on here, the only team that really comes up is the Minnesota Vikings. Kwesi Adolfo Mensa, the general manager of the Vikings, he was with the 49ers when they were scouting Lance, when they drafted Lance. Uh, it seems to that his skill set really meshes well with what the Vikings run. And if this is the last year of Kirk Cousins in Minnesota, it could sort of be a succession plan at the quarterback position in his final year of his rookie contract. That $4 million roster bonus that Lance has in 2024 is going to scare some teams away, even if the Niners are essentially willing to give him away in terms of trade compensation. So still plenty to be figured out, but the only team, as I survey the league right now, that would seemingly be a fit for Lance, would seemingly be interested, is his old friend Kwesi Dofomenza in the Minnesota area. And here's a look at the current QB room for the Niners. Brock Purdy, QB1, Sam Darnold likely being named his backup, and Trey Lance still there as well. Now, JJ saying, of course, that he thinks the Niners will carry three QBs this season. Whether it's Trey Lance or not, we don't know for sure. JJ also adding that the Vikings are a likely suitor for Trey Lance. So we'll have to see what happens there. And Trey Lance, one of five players traded for three first round picks in the common draft era. That 2021 first round pick to Miami eventually turned into the Cowboys drafting none other than Micah Parsons. Some other big names to come out of there. Cole Strange, Brian Brzee, some other names coming from those picks. If you're just tuning into us here on CBS Sports HQ, the 49ers expected to name Sam Darnold as the backup QB to Brock Purdy and what that means for Trey Lance. We'll have to wait and see.